Hi guys. So today I wanted to talk about therapies is kind of convenient because I am sitting in a therapy or in the parking lot while Jeffrey has therapy right now. But I wanted to tell you that I do not put Jeffrey in every therapy that is possible because he has autism. For those of you who don't know, Jeffrey is four and a half and he has autism. Um, he actually is only in occupational therapy and speech and early intervention at home. During school, he gets occupational therapy, speech, and he gets ABA. The reason we do not have ABA at home is the, the companies down here that offer ABA in South Carolina, the ones that we have been referred to, actually have ridiculous um, requirements for service. The, the one company that we were on the list for and actually were able to get services if I was able to do it, was they wanted to have three three-hour sessions a week. Um, Jeffrey's in school full day. So right now he is in school full day. He gets out at 20 of two. It is a little after two now. I think it's almost, it's actually two 30 and he came from school to therapy and he'll be here until three 15. Then he is home. So if I was supposed to like have ABA after this, he would be going until six 30 tonight, like three days a week that would have happened. Um, no, I'm sorry. I even, before I agreed to, or before I said no to ABA therapy at home, I had actually talked to his ABA therapist at school and she agreed that that was a little too much. He really doesn't need that. Um, I just found out recently that Jeffrey's occupational therapist and a speech therapist through this company we have right now, who were referred from our early intervention, they had zero idea that Jeffrey had autism, nor did they think he did. They thought he just had a speech delay and that was it. So. The fact that I said no to ABA, actually everybody was very happy with because his therapists were like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know they had it. Not that I'm saying I go around saying Jeffrey has autism. Like you guys might hear me say it because I'm trying to tell you something about it, but I don't go around like with a sticker on his face that I have autism or, you know, a shirt. It just, that's not who Jeffrey is. Jeffrey is a normal child. He just needs a little extra help. And that is it. That's how we've always looked at this. But I am just putting it out there that you can say no to therapy just because somebody suggests it for your child. You don't need to do it. Jeffrey would not benefit from that many hours of ABA a week. I even talked to his new ABA therapist this year and she agrees that he does not need it that much. He is getting it in school and that is enough. She said, if you could get like an hour or more a week, she's like, that's great. But that's something we'll deal with when I have my next IEP meeting. But he does not need that much ABA because he is thriving so well and is doing so well in school but then I do have friends whose kids could benefit from like the 60 or the 30 hours of ABA that Jeffrey has been approved for that he's never going to get because I just won't allow it they're actually trying to get their kids into a school that is specifically does ABA all day long because their kids need it and I do agree that there are certain children who need that Jeffrey is not one of those children I actually taught ABA in Massachusetts and I, I do not believe it. Jeffrey needs that much. And I have talked to my friends who did it too. And they agree that Jeffrey is just, he doesn't need it. And that's fine. Do not feel like you have to pressure your kids into doing this stuff because somebody's recommending it. It may not be right for him. And even his therapists now, when they heard that I did say no to ABA, they even told me if this gets, if the therapies after school get too much for him to let them know and we can cut it back that it's, it's not a requirement. I don't have to do this because somebody, you know, because he's approved for it. I can say no. And I do. Um, we've had a few makeup sessions and even this week I had to cancel one because everyone is sick and that's perfectly fine. I don't feel bad because it is necessary. I am not going to put my family in that much stress for therapies that are really not that necessary. Yes, I could have done them on the weekends, but that's our time. That's our family time. Jeffrey would have been so upset that he would have to have more therapies on the weekend when we normally do family time. Like it is just, it's not necessary. It's too much. I get it that there are a lot of little kids who do need it. And I, I thoroughly agree. I do agree with ABA. I think it does work for most kids. Jeffrey does not need that much. And that is fine. He has been doing very well. He is really, I don't want to say outgrowing autism because that's not the way it seems to me. Cause I know he's always going to be dealing with this, but he's kind of just 
overcoming a lot of the obstacles that he had a year ago. So I don't feel like I need to push him into more therapy. That's probably going to do more damage at this point because he needs that downtime. The kid is on from the moment he wakes up until he gets out of school and even afterwards. It's those last couple of hours that these people would be coming to my house to attempt ABA would be, pff, it ain't going to happen because those last two hours are him trying to eat dinner, taking a bath and getting ready for bed. And let me tell you, that's a struggle in and of itself. Most nights I can be perfectly fine, but some nights he is done. He needs that downtime. And why am I going to sit there for another three hours in therapy trying to get him to do things that are really just making it worse at this point? I don't want him to have a negative reaction to therapy, which I feel like would happen if I did that much ABA therapy for him it just it would it just would not work because he's in so much as it is and we actually almost were thinking of stopping one of them but thankfully it when we went from summer to to the school year um <clears throat> occupational therapy actually got kind of hard for him he was having a really hard time in the sessions and then thankfully this past two weeks he's actually they've gotten better we actually were to the point where we were almost going to stop it and he actually has gotten better. So it is still on the table. It may be stopped, but right now it's going better. So I think the whole point of this is you can say no. Like, do not feel that because your child has some sort of disability or special needs and you need to give them in therapy, that just because a doctor or, you know, a teacher says he needs to have this, 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 and this, you have to do all that. You have to do what's right for your child. And I put my foot down and I normally am the one who's like, no, he needs to have this, this, this. And I really did think he needed ABA and he was doing well at school. But then when they told me how many hours, I'm like, oh, hell no, I can't do that. Like there's, there's not enough time in the day. And they're like, well, we'll come on weekends. And I'm like, mm -mm -mm, kid needs some downtime. So just if it is not feeling right, you have, you have every right to say no and say, this is too much. We I am a firm believer that kids still need to be kids, even though they do need help. I'm not saying to not get them the help. Just if you need to cut it back, cut it back. Or maybe you need to just readjust things to make it work for your family. Last year at this time, we were trying to do school and we were trying to do an extracurricular activity for Jeffrey. We did um, gymnastics for a little bit. And it actually, once we transitioned to school, because he had done it over the summer, it was too much and we dropped gymnastics. And that was fine. I... As much as I wanted him to do something, it was like, it was too much. So that I just am learning that what is too much for each child. And you just need to do what is right for your child and don't push them if it's too much for them. You will see a change. I, like I said, we saw the change with OT and we almost dropped it and then he's fine now. So I'm not saying that the second you see, you know, you have a bad week that you need to stop it. That's not what I'm saying. This was a consistent thing for us. And I even, I, I mean, looking at the day, like I said, right now, it's going to be 3.30 by the time I get home with Jeffrey. And I mean, when would I start ABA? I mean, wh what, the second we walked in the door, he's in bed by 6.30, 7 o'clock some nights. Like we're already starting quiet time at between 6 and 6.30. So how am I going to fit in three hours? So, and I even tried talking to the company and seeing if they would adjust it. And they're like, nope, this is what we have to do. And I'm like, then you can take me off the list. And I even, I actually was just at the doctor's and I, you know, the, his doctor was, I, we were there for Robert, but she asked about Jeffrey and how he was doing with school. Cause she hasn't seen him since he started school. And I told her what was going on and how I did say no to ABA. And she was like, you know what? I just saw him a month or so ago. She goes, and he's doing awesome. So. I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. Like she agreed with me that it was not, it wasn't worth it because he was doing so much better. So the fact that other people are seeing this, other people aren't even seeing the autism, which not that I'm saying that, you know, it's something visible that you're going to see, but people who see it on a daily basis didn't even know he had it. It, it kind of made me feel really good. And I felt like he's doing so well that I don't need to add anything in at this point. So now that I've like talked my head off and I actually have a sore throat from talking, I really hope I'm not getting Robert strip, but hold on a sec. Yes, it was this kind of day. I needed a Starbucks after being up with Robert on I would strip. So anyways, now that you've heard me ramble on about how you can say no to therapy, I am going to go now. I hope you guys will have a great day. Give big, 
video a big thumbs up. And if you have said no to therapy, I'd love to know what you said no to. So put them in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.